Hi, this is Derek. I have another VHS memories review for you for today. Uh, today's movie, movie I have so many fond memories of, and I, a movie that I still enjoy to this day. It's Hook, directed by Steven Spielberg, the, the, one of the best directors ever, uh, starring, of course, the great Robin Williams, the legendary Dustin Hoffman, the incomparable Bob Hoskins, and the lovely and amazing Julia Roberts. She plays Tinkerbell. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, of course, plays Hook, Captain Hook, is, the movie is Hook, not Peter Pan. He's kind of the central, he, he's, he's the heart of the movie, sort of, uh, I guess you could say, even though, thankfully, Peter Pan is, is the star. Um, uh, Smee is uh, uh, Bob Hoskins, of course, uh, and, of course, Peter Pan, Robin Williams, of course, he is Peter Banning in, in the start of this movie, basically. Kind of the, the, the driving concept behind this movie is, hey, what if uh, Peter Pan grew up? What if he abandoned uh, all the ways that he so uh, fervently believed in, you know, never grow, growing old, Sting and Never Never Land, Never Never Growing Old, the fantasy land, fighting the pirates, because the grown-ups are the bad guys, staying young forever, living the fantasy life. That's great. Uh, that's, that's something in the heart of every child. But the heart of every child grows into the heart of an adult eventually. So that's kind of what this movie explores here, but in, in, in a family-friendly kind of way, that it is a movie for kids. It was I was the target audience at the time. What, 1991, I think this movie came out. That's when this hit video and cable and, and all that good stuff. So this was kind of my first exposure to uh, not even both Steven Spielberg and Robin... Uh, both Steven Spielberg and Robin Williams, I think, unless I saw Jaws first. I don't really remember. Um, but I was like, five. I was like in kindergarten at the time, so I don't know. So uh, I, I might have seen Aladdin first in theaters. I don't really remember. But basically, I mean, it's it's a, a core movie in my childhood. This is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, a, a, a great movie, in my opinion. I know it's something that it's really weird. It, it got very bad reviews. But the thing is, anybody within like my age group, like you saw it as kids, they like it and still like it. So I think we're a very specific kind of generation that appreciates this movie uh and so of course you know well people my age you know we're having kids now we're, we're, they're getting to an age where they can watch these movies so i think there's going to be a resurgence in hook's popularity uh quite soon because uh, a lot of people who enjoyed it as a kid are going to show it to their kids so there, there's always kind of like a gap per gap per 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 per, per back Wow. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, the, the focus of the movie is, hey, what if Peter Pan grew up? Uh, this Peter Pan, Peter Banning, uh, played by Robin Williams, uh, he has grown up. He has no memory of the, his days of, of being Peter Pan, basically. And he's kind of a workaholic. He's I think he's like a copyright lawyer or something in this movie. So he's trying to, you know, every adult kind of stereotype, trying to have it all, trying to balance work and family. Not really doing it that well, what can I tell you? Uh, but, uh, you know, you see him at the beginning of the movie where they are uh, at the play, and, you know, he's so obsessed with, he has a cell phone with him, and the cell phone's like this big. It's like, hello, hello. It's, like, funny because it's, like, early 90s. That, that was a cell phone then. Ah, uh, wow. It's, it's, it's kind of funny to, to see that kind of stuff. Like, oh, let me fax that to you. Wow. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, what's interesting, by the way, is that that play is Peter Pan. So in the reality of this movie, Peter Pan is uh, an actual work of fiction that exists as it does in, in our world presently. But within the reality of this movie, uh, basically, uh, it is based on the accounts of Wendy, specifically, who, uh, J.M. Barry, of course, who, who wrote uh, the, the Peter Pan series, he was so enchanted by the stories that Wendy would tell of her experiences with Peter Pan, uh, her, her and her brothers, of course, uh, visiting Never Neverland and fighting the evil pirates and, and things like that. He, he wrote the, the Peter Pan books, basically, so that that's kind of like the... I don't know, like meta cross, <laughs> crossing reality and fiction, which is kind of cool. It's a cool concept. But basically, uh, Peter uh, abandoned uh, the ways of Neverland uh, for for reasons that we kind of find out as as we move a little further down the road in the movie. But basically, uh, he he doesn't end up marrying Wendy. He he ends up marrying Wendy's daughter actually because he kind of has this epiphany, I guess, uh, a little further down the road when Wendy's grown a little bit older. Um, but it was kind of like his happy thought. Like, what what is happiness to him? And one thing that a kid can't do, of course, is have a kid. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, that was his idea of happiness, of true love, of what he wanted to accomplish, that, that he couldn't in his wildest dreams. So he kind of uh, 
makes the ultimate sacrifice in uh, abandoning his youth so that uh, he can create youth himself and start a family and start love, which is kind of the story of life itself, if you want to get like over-analytical about it. But uh, it, it's an interesting concept. He has kids of his own. He, he's he's married to uh, Wendy's uh, daughter, of course. Uh, and he's just kind of forgotten his ways. He's a very strict, very... Uh, humorless type of person and there's all these kind of funny things like oh I, I don't like to fly you know you see him on on the airplane at the beginning too he's flying pan am by the way pan am which i thought was a funny um little joke i guess oh and also if you pay attention you, everyone probably knows this but um in that scene in, in the airplane you hear the captain speaking it's Dustin Hoffman's voice so it's Hook's, Hook's voice is the captain of the airplane on the Pan Am plane so uh, it's a little clever thing so I think it's a clever idea for a movie so um, basically uh, meanwhile <laughs> uh, since Peter has abandoned uh, Neverland the Lost Boys are without their leader uh, they've taken upon the leadership of Rufio uh, who's you know kind of next gen Lost Boy leader he's pretty cool he's pretty tough he is kind of like those hardcore 90s kids who can like skateboard really rad you know so it's there's kind of like even though it has like a timeless feel to it even even with you know the, the huge cell phones but uh, it, it kind of feels like a contemporary this is how youth kind of is now basically and of course uh in the adult world of the neverland world waits captain hook who has no purpose he has no reason to keep fighting sure maybe he hates the lost boys but always the the defeat from peter pan the defeat after defeat basically um has left them wanting more he is just craving revenge and so his plan is to steal peter pan's kids he finally finds them uh in in the real world basically and kidnaps them and holds them hostage so that he can finally kind of instigate the the final battle the great war between peter pan the pirates and captain hook so i think it's a kind of a cool concept it's a really it's kind of out there but i think it's pretty cool um but little does he know peter pan is now this adult he's old he's a little flabby now he can't fly he's afraid of heights uh and there's no purpose but uh, basically uh tinkerbell julia roberts she sets up this thing okay give me give me four days no three days three days and i will make him the peter pan that you know i'll give you a fair battle and you know you'll you'll duke it out it's rumble in the jungle it's rumble in neverland you're you, you'll get your war you'll get your glory basically and took agrees to that so he's just waiting there the whole time and you know uh, what can i do to, to to make peter pan suffer i'll make my kids i'll make his kids love me more than they love him so that's kind of his goal he, he really gets to his son jack i think the son's name is um that actor, I forget the actor's name. Uh, he was in What About Bob, though. He was the the very grim kid in What About Bob, uh, who who's pretty awesome. And I think he quit acting um, after this movie. So maybe Spielberg worked him too hard, or no? I, I think the story is that uh, Dustin Hoffman was like, "Listen, kid, don't 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 do this. Don't you don't want to do this? And definitely don't want to do this." Um, but and he's like, "Okay, yeah, that makes sense." But anyway, it's I think it's an interesting concept. So uh, you have the the, the two kind of. Uh, worlds where peter pan is training and hook is trying to uh make the kids like him or love him even so i think it's a pretty cool movie there, there's lots of great sets in this movie and, and i think there was an interview with spielberg where he's like man those sets weren't too good no i disagree the sets in this movie are, are awesome really makes it feel like a fantasy world a really vibrant kind of world uh, which you you can get that kind of stuff with computer generated imageries but i like that you can you know actually see it uh right in front of your eyes you know if someone built this like some of the the sets at like the docks with with the pirate ships they're they're amazing really um i think it's a fantastic movie with a fantastic performance by dustin hoffman who like who would have thought that he'd be such a great actor to play captain hook i never would have thought it but he's so great. He has this pirate voice. Oh, Peter Pan. Oh, he's so good. And he has like the little mustache. They look like little hooks. It's pretty cool. And uh, Robin Williams, a great performance actually from him because he has to, he always has like, if you look at his roles, you know, there's some roles, like, he has like the, the dramedy, uh, the, the comedy, the, the drama and like the in, in between. This is kind of his in between where he, he starts off fairly reserved a fairly no-nonsense humorless type of character but then he has to turn into peter pan and peter pan is a very uh energetic and just 
bright person. So, I mean, that kind of transition that he's able to pull off and make it believable that he could do that in such a short amount of time. Uh, with training with the Lost Boys and all that kind of cool stuff, um, doing like the the imaginary food fight, and where like they're you know calling each other, you booger looker butt fucker, <laughs> not not butt fucker, no, it's a G-rated movie, but you know what I mean. Uh, basically, I, I thought it was a really really uh, great character transformation, uh, and, and kind of when they do face off, it's like you know. Uh, adulthood versus childhood and where can the compromise be found and it's it's very cool and there's like one part where like where they're fighting at the end um uh, hook is like trying to ma mind fuck him basically he's like oh you're just dreaming right now you're gonna wake up as a man who works too hard who drinks too much and can't even pay attention to his family and he's like basically like a oh, wake up call to him so i think the movie it, it is about trying to find that balance in life so i mean it's as profound as you want it to be i mean it is a kid's movie i love this movie as a kid i watch it so much um i remember I, this this came out when i was in kindergarten and kind of one of the things i don't know why but like one of the things that like i wanted to practice super hard uh was the rooster call that he does i don't know why but i was like i'm gonna make myself known for that uh, and i did and you know i'd be in class like i could do it a lot better when I was a kid because you know my voice was a little bit lower so I don't know but basically there's so much to take from this movie that I think a lot of people take for granted it's it is kind of a magical movie is it one of Spielberg's best no um but it, it is very much in his signature style a lot of the themes that you'd see in a lot of uh, other Steven Spielberg movies so I, I don't know how you know, warmly he regards it, but I think the reviews were wrong of this movie when it originally came out. I think the reviews were absolutely wrong. It was, you know, it, again, I kind of like go into this whole nostalgia versus is it a really good movie argument, but it, it's hard to separate the, the nostalgia from the wonderful memories of watching this movie over and over and over again uh, as a kid, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it is something that, uh, again, as I mentioned, people my age now having kids, they're they're gonna share it with their kids, and hopefully their kids will, will like it. Uh, I'd love to show this movie to my kids someday. It's a, it's a wonderful movie, and it is a, a good uh, companion piece to the, the the story of Peter Pan. Um, and it's something that will, will kind of make you, uh, as as I love it as a kid. Uh, kind of reflect now that I'm in adulthood and kind of, again, finding that balance. So, I mean, it's as pr profound as you want it to be, basically. Um, but I think I think it's great. I think the effects are really good. Um, the set design is, is pretty awesome. And John Williams' music, like, it's such a great score. I mean, uh, throw a rock and you'll find, like, a great John Williams score. The guy could write a, an incredible, epic, memorable score in his sleep, basically. So... I don't know, but I, I thought it was a very beautiful score. Great performances. Robin Williams, so great. Uh, you know, Own My Childhood. What a great, great actor. Dustin Hoffman. What a kind of uh, against the curve kind of performance. Like this is this is like legendary Oscar winning drama. Kramer versus Kramer. Midnight Cowboy. Rain Man. Serious drama. Uh, Dustin Hoffman. So it's, it was interesting to see him in such a role like that. And you know, with these kind of movies, like they do them for their kids so they want to pass something down that their kids can watch i think like dustin hoffman would like show his kids like i don't know like outbreak like here enjoy kids no he you know i guess you reach an age with that and maybe that is the ultimate compromise that uh, people in in that in industry find like they want to <laughs> keep keep the uh childish uh wonder of acting and acting is just playing pretend all the time that's what actors do and that's what they're great at that's why we love them um but how can they find the balance in their adult life so maybe there's something to take from that too i don't know but uh yeah uh, what can i say great memories of this movie great performances julia roberts what a what a lovely tinkerbell and there's that great scene where you know she uh grows into a grown woman and she's loved peter pan all her life it's kind of a sweet scene actually uh, so there it, it, it kind of takes this wonder wondrous fairy tale and finds a little bit more of, of a, like a ground to it sort of it just kind of puts these characters under dissection just a little bit which i think is something that you know, you don't see that too much, and, and I think that's interesting. I think this is a very interesting and unique movie. You don't, you don't see movies like this that like that are daring. This was kind of a gamble of a movie, such kind of an out there concept. Of course, you had Spielberg, but uh, 
you know, people were kind of merciless. Critics, critics didn't care for it. Um, but I think maybe time will tell a different tune. Maybe it has, actually, so it's hard to say. But, uh, yeah, what can I, what else can I tell you? Oh, and, man, the, the scene with Rufio. This is spoilers, by the way. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, when Rufio is, like, sho- go, shows down with them. Um, uh, Captain Hook is like, Rufio, Rufio, and they fight and fight, and you're like, yeah, Rufio's kicking ass, man, get Captain Hook, Rufio, and then, what happens, Rufio is killed, and he's, uh, 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 Peter Pan is holding him, dying in his arms, I wish I had a dad like you, oh, mm. but yeah, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it can get pretty heavy for this kind of movie, great action scenes. Oh, and another thing, there's actually, this movie has one of the most interesting cameos of all time. Uh, at the, sort of at the beginning, when first, when uh, Peter Banning first kind of infiltrates uh, the pirate ship, uh, and uh, you see all the pirates, and one of them is put in like the, like the little, you know, uh, chest with like all the scorpions and stuff. That's Glenn Close wearing like a beard, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Watch that again, watch for Glenn Close. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's one of the most interesting cameos i think of all time uh but yeah what else to say uh great memories with this movie great fun a good twist on a classic and i think it's definitely something that uh, it depends on the generation i guess but this is kind of among spielberg's eternal films this this isn't like 1941 or something like that or even like jurassic park the lost world i mean this i I wouldn't say it's his best movie or anything but i think it's worthy i think it's worthy of being called a spielberg film which it is which nobody should ever shy away from including spielberg himself i hope he's proud of this movie i hope it's something that we pass down to kids from generation to generation because it's a lovely and interesting movie and you can look back on it uh older in age and I, i think Due to the being in such a unique uh, uh, demographic, or not even demographic, disposition, I would say. Being such a unique disposition, I saw this as a kid. I can see it through the lens of a kid now as, as an adult, which adults who first saw this movie wouldn't have been able to. So I have a very unique advantage, and anybody my age has a very u- unique advantage, I would say. So that's something to consider, too. So, you know, there are movies that you'll you will not be able to have two different mindsets on which is interesting about this movie so you know the, those adults who give the movie thumbs down stuff they go go their pirate ships whatever i don't care um but yeah but anyway that's my review i've rambled on long enough hook great movie check it out if you haven't uh rob williams in great role and uh, dustin up in a great role uh, Spielberg doing what he does best, a great director, and uh, wonderful memories that I will cherish and will hope to pass down to my kids when when I have them, if I have them, I don't know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at hi, this is Derek, Tumblr, derek237.tumblr.com. Stay tuned for more VHS memories and other amazing great reviews from my channel. But uh, again, thanks for watching.